Alright, hello, I am Mr. Gill. And I'm M. Velda Science. Uh, and we are back with our traditional Sunday morning uh, YouTube video thingies. Uh, today we are going to have a little discussion. Yeah. Uh, we've mentioned it a couple of times. Um, coming up is the Disney, Lego Disney collectible minifigures series. I think some people are calling it series 16. Yeah, but this is like the thing Lego does with licensed themes are they do their own line series. So exactly. this is series one of the Disney minifigures. Yeah, so this is similar to what they did with the Simpsons yeah, last exactly. year and a half is Simpsons series one, series two, but it doesn't affect the actual yeah. and also with series count. Yeah, and also with like the Lego movie. Yeah, so exactly. Okay, so coming up is the Disney stuff. Now this is released on May the first in Sweden, yeah. and I think worldwide is kind of that's a pretty much a set launch date. Yeah. Of course, you know, there's a few of the bigger shops get it out earlier, and they have yeah. been seen so far in Legoland. Yeah, in Billund. Yeah. So. Okay, so that's pretty cool. I'm actually going to Copenhagen next week, so I'll Ooh. have a look at the Lego brand store there and mm. see if they've got some, which would be nice. Yeah. Um. But yeah, we thought we'd have a talk about them. I personally think these are probably going to be one of the biggest things this year. Yeah. Uh, Disney, of course, is such a massive, popular, uh, uh, what is it, brand? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and uh, joining with Lego, as they have over the last couple of years, I think this is, you know, kind of a, the synergy of two of the biggest toy brands in the world. Yeah. So it could be quite exciting. Uh, definitely, there's been a lot of feedback in the shop. Uh, people are quite excited for it already hassling me quite a lot for them, um, of course, but it comes out May the 1st. Um, so we're just going to go through, um, MBL Designs here, of course, is a marvellous uh, font of knowledge about all things Lego, uh, so it's always good for me <laughs> when he's around that I can just go, what's this, where did this come from, because he knows the answers, so it's awesome. So we thought we'd share some of that uh, knowledge with you, um, and just have a little chat, and then of course, you know, uh, we'll have to do videos again next week, and you know, yeah. we'll do more of our usual competition based stuff. <laughs> I'm just tired of losing. So this week I just thought we'd sit and talk instead yeah. of uh, you know me losing again and again. Um, we will pop up uh, the image yeah. of the Disney things on the bottom of the screen. Uh, yeah. There's only been one official image released, yeah. uh, which most of you would have seen. If you haven't, you'll see it at the bottom, but you can search it on Google or Instagram. Um, lots of people have reposted it. Yeah. Um, and it has, so there's 18 figures. Yeah. So that's a change up from the usual. Definitely. I mean, usually it's 16, so 18 is pretty uh, pretty good. As far as I've heard, I haven't actually paid the bill yet for the figures, yeah. but they are the same price. So mm -hmm. you should, whenever you're shopping for them, whether it's anywhere or, of course, here at Mr. Gill, uh, they should be similar price to what normal mm -hmm. things are. But because it's 18, it's going to cost a little bit more, but yeah. you've got to get two extra figures. Um, 18 figures spread across six films. So yeah, I think something like that. Six, six kind of films or franchises. Yeah. Um, uh, we'll start with what's in the top corner of the picture, which I think is... Syndrome. Syndrome, yeah, yeah. from... The Incredibles. Ah, yes, so. of course, The Incredible Movie, which was awesome. Yeah. They're making a second movie? Yeah, they are actually making a second one, so that's Seems really interesting. Seems ages ago that The Incredibles came yeah, out. Yeah, it came out like... Yeah, no clue, actually. It's like 2005 years? Yeah, something like, something like that. Like 2005 somewhere. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, so. Long time. Um, so Syndrome is the bad guy. Uh, yeah. The figure itself looks pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, I guess custom printing on the torso yeah. and the legs. Yeah. The uh, printing looks really awesome. The one thing that really stands out is the new hairpiece, which looks really cool, actually. Yeah, if you can't see, zoom in very close with like a bright... Or, I'm pointing here, like this, I know exactly where the thing is going to be. I have no idea where the picture is going to be. Uh, but yeah, it's a big, bright orange kind yeah. of headpiece. And you're suggesting that it looks separate. Yeah, because a lot of people have thought that it's connected to the head in some way, and you can't take it off, but... I'm pretty sure that you will be able to take it off. So. Yeah, I mean, they don't usually do a molded on headpiece. Yeah, exactly. Hair piece. So. That would be a very useful hairpiece. A big, yeah. bright orange shock of hair looks fantastic. Uh, could be used for some anime figures. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Isn't there a guy called Goku or something? Yeah, yeah something like that. Yeah. So Cool. And he's got a cape. It looks like standard cloth cape. Yeah. Um, hopefully, it will be of the thicker. Yeah, variety uh, yeah. instead of the thinner ones that they seem to be doing a bit too much now. Yeah, um, but syndrome looks pretty cool. Uh, yeah. Then there's uh... he actually has some accessories oh. which we don't really see on this picture, which is uh, the blueprints for the Omnidroid, which is the big robot from ah, the movie. Ah, so... okay, so like a printed uh, two yeah. by two tile. Yeah, exactly. So... Awesome. Yeah, you can barely see it in the picture. Okay, yeah. cool. So I like printed really awesome. tiles, so that's pretty cool. 
Moving on, we've got uh, Ariel, The Little yeah. Mermaid. Yeah. Um, which has been released before? Yeah, with the Lego you know, Disney Princesses. Ah, uh, yes, of course. With a mini doll form. Yeah, I actually think I made one of these last year. Yeah. There was there, and there's a little crab, Sebastian, yeah. or something yeah. like that. Yeah, okay, That's cool. That's actually one of the downsides people have talked about this figure. Why didn't we get that accessory instead of oh, just yeah. normal shell or... Yeah, because yeah, so she, under she comes fish. with a shell and it looks like a little diamond piece yeah. to represent something in the shell oysters or yeah. something like that. So she's so. pretty standard. We've seen it yeah. before. Not too special. I mean, I do like the red hair like that. I think it's yeah. an awesome piece as well. But you know, we kind of seen that piece before. We have also then next is Aladdin. Yeah. Uh, have we seen him before? No, we haven't. We have seen Jasmine in the Disney oh, yeah, Princesses. Yeah, of course, of course, but course. We haven't seen Aladdin actually, so that's really cool. It's one of my favorite Disney movies, so that's really awesome. That's fantastic. Uh, we have a new head or hair mold for him with the fess on the back oh, of it. Okay, so yeah, that's I see cool. that. Uh, and we do get some yeah, more other skin colors because we're yeah. used to just yes, the normal flesh tone and. Yeah, because he's brown, of yeah, course, so. which is uh, awesome. And yeah, it's a nice printing, legs are printed, looks like, yeah, yeah cool. And yeah. he comes with the little lamp, which we've seen a few times. Yeah. Lots of different sets, not that special. Okay, he's pretty cool. Then we've got uh, Captain Hook. Oh, Captain Hook, of so. course, from Peter Pan. Peter Pan? Disney. Yeah. yeah, yeah, obviously, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so it's a really cool minifigure. The, ha uh, the hat and hair is apparently connected which we've seen before with other minifigures it looks similar to what they did with parts of the caribbean yeah, jack exactly. sparrow they had yeah. the kind of hat and hair connected yeah okay yeah the only thing that people do know and do not like with this figure is the face looks very weird because yeah. the thing with lego minifigures are that they don't have any noses but captain hook has a very big nose okay so yeah. that's something that really yeah that yeah. It doesn't really look good in Lego form, but the rest of the minifigure looks really awesome in my opinion. Yeah, he does look a bit, his smile's a tiny bit cartoony, yeah. kind of a bit weird looking. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He has got the hook for the hand, which is a very popular piece. I can't yeah. tell you how many times uh, kids come in and need the hook for something. Um, so that will probably be quite cool. Uh, then we have Donald. Yeah. Uh, Donald yeah. Duck. Yeah, one really, or two interesting things that not a lot of people have noticed from pictures of these minifigures are that Donald and Daisy and also Minnie has a pig hole in their head so they can attach like Donald has a hat, Minnie and Daisy has a bow piece so that's something and also Donald and Daisy also have a tail piece which we haven't really seen the backside of so we don't really know how that looks yet. So. Okay, so Donald's hat can be taken off and on? Yeah, apparently. Okay. Because it's the same molded head as Daisy so I'm guessing that it's just a peg hole and a separate hat. Okay, cool, so. cool. So then we've got uh, Minnie Mouse, sorry yeah, I don't know much about the these are very old for me. Yeah. Um, Minnie Mouse, she look again, she's got the hole in the head. Yeah. Very with the bow style. piece. Excellent. And, and the new skirt piece, which. I'm just uh, looking at that, I don't get that. Is that. It's some type of skirt piece. Uh, but it's Alice, wavy and. Yeah, Alice in Wonderland also has well. the same piece, but. Oh, it's plastic! Not, yeah, I'm <sighs> guessing it's plastic, Ooh. so that will be interesting yeah. to see what people do with that piece. Yeah, uh, it's. Kind of similar to what we've got with the ballerina from series 15. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, figure. yeah, So I'm guessing it's a harder plastic, so yeah. that will be That's interesting. That's quite cool. Uh, that, that interests me. I yeah. always like pieces that you can use for something else. Um, excellent. And then we've got Mickey, of course. Yeah. Who seems pretty boring. Yeah, he's <laughs> very plain. A lot of people do not really like him because, yeah. you know, in like all of the uh, Mickey Mouse cartoons, He's kind of fat, actually. Not really fat, but yeah, okay. He has a bit of stomach, but he just looks very flat yeah. in Lego form. So yeah, yeah, that's he's... really weird. Yeah, definitely. I love the head mold for him, but uh, I'm surprised they don't have accessories. Yeah, I'm really because everybody else has something, don't they? Oh, yeah, not all of them, but yeah, okay. Yeah, most of them. So then we have uh, D Daisy. Yeah, Daisy. Daisy. <laughs> 
And yeah, there isn't much else. Uh, peg hold in the head and yeah. also a tail, so. But no skirt piece, because she's got a yeah. tail. Okay, yeah, yeah obviously. Exactly. So, Come on. Uh, then we have Maleficent from um, uh, Sleeping Beauty, if I remember right. Uh, yeah. Uh, so I always found it weird that people know who she is, because in my head, Sleeping Beauty, there's just Sleeping Beauty, and then there's like the evil witch. Yeah. And then I guess they made the movie Maleficent or whatever it's called. Yeah. And then they have, but I frankly don't have a clue who she is, and I yeah. didn't realize she was such a big character in Sleeping Beauty. I yeah, I just like Sleeping, Be Sleeping Beauty, the one with the dwarves. Yeah. No. Oh. Snow yeah, White. That's Snow White. Yeah, that's Snow White. Uh, I don't think it's Snow White. Yeah, uh, I'm too old. Okay, yeah, but <laughs> Maleficent looks cool. She has a <coughs> new like headpiece with the horns. Have we seen her yeah. before? No, we haven't. haven't. So that's really cool, actually. And for those who like the Maleficent movie will probably like this figure, so that's really cool. The blue hands are going to be very popular for yeah. people who collect, uh, there's a, there's a people who collect monochrome Lego yeah. figures, which is a Lego figure all in the same uh, tone of colour. And mm. I don't remember seeing that colour blue before. Uh, maybe hmm. in a Chima or something like that. Yeah, I it's... Have, actually have no clue, actually. It's, it's not the same colour yeah, as yeah. Genie, it's kind of a lime green yeah. somewhat so i'll have to look that up actually because so. that's that's quite interesting and then yeah. she's got the whole normal cape thing we've yeah. seen that with a couple of the wizards it looks yeah. like a black or purple cape which yeah is exactly cool. so. the headpiece is going to be very interesting i can see yeah. a lot of people using that for other figures to make them look a little bit more freaky yeah and she also has like this low piece for the dress oh, if yeah. I okay yeah, so right. Right. so that's cool all right so that's the top row and then we've got um oh Stitch. Stitch! <laughs> I need to remember stuff. Yeah. We've got Stitch who comes from the movie with the... Yeah, Lilo and Stitch. Lilo and so. Stitch, yes. That was like, ages ago. Yeah, holy crap, I grew up on that. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but I love that movie and Stitch looks really cool. I love the headpiece for him, so... We that... definitely haven't seen this before. Yeah, no, it's yeah. really cool. I only wish that we actually got Lilo also because the movie's called Lilo and Stitch, Stitch so yeah. it feels kind of weird not having her. Uh, she was on the rumor list for this series, but she wasn't included in the first series, apparently. So yeah. I mean, we're both of the opinion that there will definitely be two, if not three, of these yeah, series. Or even more than that. Yeah, so. I mean, Disney has a massive roster of characters from yeah. films, and I can't see them not doing more and more. Yeah, and, and they've worked with Lego before with both Marvel and Star Wars yeah. now, so... Yeah, it wouldn't exactly. be weird if they continued this. Exactly, exactly. So Stitch, pretty cool. Uh, we then have Ursula. Yeah, Ursula. From The Little Mermaid. Yeah, exactly. That, and, I remember that one. I'm yeah. And um, the things that stands out to me is, number one, the hairpiece <coughs> looks really cool, mm. actually. But the um, like squid body part, yep. she actually has a stomach with that. So oh. it gives it more of a 3D effect. So that looks really cool, actually. Yeah. And I've heard some people maybe using that piece for like the symbiote from Spider Man in the Marvel comics because it almost looks like that. So yeah, that see. could be something interesting. Apart with that. from the fact that it, it has breasts. Yeah. Um, I, that might be a bit weird, no? Those are breasts. Oh, I thought <laughs> that they were printed or something like that. It but... looks like breasts. Yeah. Um, which would be weird for Lego. I've never done think there's yeah. ever been breasts in Lego before. Um, yeah. But yeah, okay. That's it's awesome. Uh, and she's got the trident, which we've seen yeah. before many times. Seen... Nothing too special. Again, her colours are quite cool. This yeah. kind of pale purple. But I've, we've seen that before somewhere. I've definitely seen that. Yeah. Then we've got um, Alice from Alice in Wonderland. Yeah, uh, first time for this figure also, so yeah. that's really cool. Excellent. Uh, this one I'm excited about because of the blue bottle, yeah. uh, which has printed on it, Drink Me, I believe. Yeah, um, but and also a cookie that says, Eat Me, so yeah, which is references Alice. to the movie, so that's awesome. Um, the the bottle for me is, I, I, anything bottles, I love bottles. It's, yeah. it's a fantastic little piece and that's going to be very useful, I can see in the future. She's yeah. also got the skirt piece. Yeah, and um, also a new hair piece, so that will be interesting to see how that looks. Yeah, very, so, very cool, very cool. Yeah. Then we've got the Cheshire Cat. Yeah, Cheshire Cat. From Alice in Wonderland again. Yeah. Uh, he looks pretty standard. It's got a tail piece, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And like the normal line. Uh, Rocket Raccoon and uh, yeah, okay. the werewolf tail. So yeah, it's kind of cool. Yeah, 
I think they will fit very nicely because there's a new like Alice 3D Looking Glass movie coming out this year, so okay. that will work pretty nicely, I guess. So yeah, I mean probably uh, it's hard to because I mean you know these are probably based more on the cartoon yeah, it's, version. Yeah, it's based on the Disney movie version, but yeah, yeah. for those who just want the characters, so yeah, because I yeah I'd be quite surprised if we saw a. Uh, Captain Jack Sparrow. What is his What's his name? Johnny Depp. Yeah. <laughs> Captain Jack Sparrow. That's who he is now. That's yeah. His name forever. Um, we then have uh, Peter Pan. Yeah. Uh, of course. Uh, this this one bores me. Yeah. One thing I would have loved to see is like these trophy figures, but with Tinkerbell or some mm. piece like that, because that would have made this figure much more interesting. Are you so you using the tiny? Uh, yeah. You see yeah. it as a trophy, but you're making it. I guess yeah, blue because green they've, or something for yeah, they've printed those figures a lot of times. For example, Ant Man, Captain America. Why not do Tinkerbell? And yeah. it would actually work with that figure. Instead, he has a golden knife. It yeah. looks like which yeah, he I has a knife wrong. in the movie. So. Yeah. yeah, but I, it's not something I wouldn't go. Peter Pan and his knife. Yeah, and a Captain Hook and his sword and his hook. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Peter Pan and knife. No, I'm trying to remember what was the last Peter Pan. I think that movie with Robin Williams, Hook. Yeah. That's the only Ooh, Peter Pan I no, remember. there's actually another like Pan movie from last year that wasn't Oh, that too had great. Hugh Jackman. Yeah. Yeah. As Blackbeard, so. Yeah. It no. wasn't that good, apparently. I haven't, yeah. I haven't seen it either, so. Okay. Yeah. Peter Pan, yeah, I'm a bit more. New headpiece, actually, with the um, hair. Okay. Mm, also, the ears. If His I... ears look a tiny bit pointy. Yeah. He's not an elf, is he? An yeah, elf? Exactly. he's not an elf. No, a lot of people are thinking that Lego may make some uh, Legend of Zelda sets using that because okay, it was uh, submitted to Lego Ideas, but wasn't uh, made into an official set. So Legend of Zelda is uh, Nintendo, though. Yeah, that's never going to happen. Yeah, I think so. Too. Lego and Nintendo. That seems seems very. Yeah. Uh, Hard for I, I don't know I can Nintendo's pretty hardcore about their yeah licensing yeah uh, you know they do a lot of it themselves don't they yeah uh, exactly but these are just fans yeah. ideas so not too sure either uh, then we have is it Mr Incredible yeah Mr Incredible okay I don't get this because to me I guess if he had short legs then he'd be Speedy or yeah Zach or what's it, the yeah, kid's name um, Speedy no um Dash Dash he'd be Dash he looks a bit too like Dash to me. He doesn't yeah. look like an old yeah, or Mr. Incredible. Yeah, he doesn't look strong. Or... Yeah, exactly. I mean, the thing about Mr. Incredible, of course, is the giant torso yeah. on the skinny kind of legs. Yeah. And this doesn't seem to represent that in any way to me. So I would kind of, I go, oh, is it Dash or is it Mr. Incredible? Yeah. One thing I feel is really <coughs> weird with some of these figures are that they are incoherent in some way. We yeah. get, for example, just Stitch, but not Lilo. We yeah. get Mr. Incredible, but not the rest of the family. Yeah. Just feels a bit weird. We could have gotten Mr. Incredible with his first blue and yeah. black outfit. That could have worked separately, I guess. Mm. Because it's actually printed on the 2x2 yeah, because he's a printed yes. two by two tile, which looks like a kind of newspaper. Yeah, thing. exactly. Yeah, so, or poster. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. It well, looks yeah. cool. Uh, I love the Incredibles. So yeah. hopefully we will get the whole family yeah. sometime soon. Definitely. Because it feels just weird having the dad and the villain. Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, then we've got Buzz. We've seen Buzz before. Yeah. The only difference is, is that he now has arm printing on both arms and also more leg printing. And now with a normal minifigure head, okay. which I feel looks very weird. All right. I love the molded head from the original Toy Story set, so I'm probably just going to swap the head out. Okay. Because I love the new arm printing on this figure. So. I mean, personally, I prefer standard heads. I don't yeah. like it when they mold weird heads, because uh, then it's not Lego, in my view. Yeah. You know, if they can't represent a figure using a standard Lego pieces, then for me, it's like, well, then don't do it. You know, yeah. that's what the point of it. But, I mean, I quite like that. I don't remember his head being purple, so I'm a bit like, uh, is it purple head? Yeah, he yeah. had, like, uh, a purple hat or something. Yeah, something. Okay, maybe. Yeah. He looks pretty cool. We've seen him before. We have the uh, P 
Pizza Planet Alien. Pizza Planet Alien. Which is probably my favorite from this whole line. This is Toy Story movie. again. Yeah, yeah, Toy Story. Yeah. So, uh, one reason I think they actually made the boss figure is there's a Toy Story 4 coming out in a couple of years. And I just think that they trying to keep the molds in production. So uh, that's idea. pretty much what I think. Because a lot of people didn't really like the fact that they reused bus with just a new head and okay. uh, printing. But yeah, the Pizza Planet Alien is my favorite because I want a freaking arm of those. <laughs> I missed out on those from the original Toy Story sets. And we didn't really get many of them from okay. those sets. So, it will be really cool to have an arm of those now. And now there's been, um, I think uh, a Brickset posted it uh, from another website. Somebody has gone through the box already yeah. and worked out the ratio. So, in every box, they're always the same. You know, you get yeah. four of this, five of this, six of this, four, yeah. four, 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 whatever. And there's going to be four. Yeah, of it's the going pizza to be alien. four of the Pizza Planet Aliens. So, the ratios are either four or three. Yeah. So, it's. There isn't really anyone who is really exclusive because yeah. we've seen that before. So I think really this cool. time around, what we noticed with Series 15 as well, yeah. is that the the ratios are e more even. Yeah. That used to be there might be two or one. Yeah. No, no, I don't think ever one, but maybe two in a box yeah. of a particular character, and that became the rarest, most yeah. expensive one. With Series 15, I noticed that there wasn't. Everything was pretty even. It was three or four, yeah. I think, um, spread across each box. I actually know it was like five of the clumsy guy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, each box. But yeah, so the ratios out there, you can search for that if you uh, wanted to pick up, as my uh, NBL yeah. does, like 50 of the uh, yeah. pizza aliens. Um, and then finally, we've got the genie. Yeah, which is a bit disappointing uh, to yeah. me because. I like the character. Robin Williams did an amazing job as the genie, mm -hmm. one of my favorite portrayals of the character. But I feel uh, the thing Lego tried to do is all of the human characters have normal Lego heads, yeah. but like Stitch and uh, Mickey and all of those like animal you know, or creatures have molded An heads. Anthropomorphic. Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I feel that the genie should have had a uh, molded head or should have been a bit bigger. Yeah, he's got some sort of weird skull cap. I mean, yeah. there's a line here yeah, on exactly. his head above his eye. So either that piece is separate. Yeah, it's separate and like the ears goes down, down or yeah. something. So. I don't remember his ears in the movie. If you yeah. ask me about the genie, I wouldn't say he had big ears. If you ask yeah. him to draw it. And he's got quite large yeah. pointy ears on that character it looks odd yeah but the thing the thing i feel he has big ears but his head is bigger yeah. so it just looks weird in lego form so yeah that is a bit odd he's yeah. got this interesting quill piece yeah. uh which we've seen before it was used by shakespeare yeah. in uh, the lego was it um, lego, movie? lego movie series yeah, yeah. And yeah, also, it's been on like the Musketeer's hat and oh, a lot that's of different right, I stuff. So. But this looks like double printed as well, a gold yeah. and a black part, which so makes it again. It's probably molded in black and yes, the end part yeah. printed in gold. So looks very, very nice. Yeah. And he's got a lamp, which I think is ridiculous. Yeah. Repeating accessories is like, it's just Why? a waste. <laughs> yeah. Because I, mean, I feel <coughs> Aladdin should have had the lamp and Genie. Shouldn't have... Aladdin have a monkey? Yeah. Oh, or a dad, even. Yeah, because that, that was like it, the thing. Wasn't there a yeah. monkey in the movie? A boo or something like that. So, Didn't the monkey wear the fez? Yeah, he also wore the fez. Yeah. So. Everybody should wear fez. <laughs> um, yeah, I, yeah. I, I think Aladdin should have had a little monkey. Yeah. Uh, and the genie should have had the lamp. Instead, we get two lamps, uh, yeah. which is fine. I mean, lamps are kind of useful. Um, yeah. They're good architectural pieces if you use them straight on. The yeah. kind of curve looks nice. Um uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. So, look, 18 of them, I would say, what's your favourite? It's the Pizza Plan Daily, and oh, afterwards it's probably Stitch, so... Probably Stitch. I, I'd, I'd say my favourite is probably Syndrome, just yeah. for the hair piece. Yeah. I think it's going to be fantastic. That's a really fun. good one, actually. Uh, my hair eventually gets like that, so I'd be quite fun in getting that in yeah. black, or maybe Ooh. even 
colouring it black. I've never done yeah. that before. Ooh. But that would be nice to use as my hair piece yeah. for my uh, sig fig. Um, which one do you think is going to be the most popular? Now, this Ooh. is hard because when these series comes out, you know, a lot of kids come into the shop and they're always like wanting particular ones. And I always try and guess which one is going to be the popular one. I've never got it right. Um, last two, series, series 15, I thought it was going to be the shark. Yeah. But it actually turned out to be the blue space knight guy, yeah, exactly. or blue alien guy, who is very popular for some reason. I don't really get that, but yeah. you know, massively popular. What do you think? The most popular one? Um, I think Syndrome, actually. Syndrome. Just because of like the outfit and the hairpiece. But yeah, I'm not too sure, actually. I'm probably going to say uh, Stitch. Ooh. Um, yeah, that was my second choice. Yeah, I, just only because, you know, reading up about this or following people on Instagram and seeing comments in various posts and blah, 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 blah. Yeah. It seems to me that most people are kind of like Stitch. Um, yeah. I also think Stitch has a broad, a broader kind of crossover. Because yeah, it's so. not too old, but yeah. it's old enough that there's some younger adults yeah. who remember it and like it. Uh, yeah. But also for kids, it's still quite a good kids movie that's yeah, exactly. recent enough that they've probably seen it as well. So I think it has a good crossover. Whereas something like, I mean, I don't know if kids really like Mickey Mouse that much anymore. It's not like there's been a Mickey Mouse movie recently, is there? There is like cartoons on like Disney yeah. Channel, but... Mm, it's not really not, cool. Yeah, it's exactly. Like, I don't know. It's just mostly for like younger children in yeah. like the ages of like two or three. So looking at sales, I mean, the Mickey Mouse, Duplo, and Junior stuff is yeah. not very big selling. I yeah. mean, nobody really wants Mickey. They'd rather have the Spider Man or the yeah Minnie or the Disney princesses, which yeah. do very well. Um, so I'm going to say Stitch. You're going to say uh, Syndrome. Syndrome. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll we'll update whenever in a month or so when it comes out. We'll yeah. yeah. What we will do as well, uh, so I think it's about three weeks away that the release is. Yeah, we will like definitely do a video as soon as they're in the shop. Uh, I'll get NBL to pop down yeah. as soon as they arrive and we will do a video, maybe like an unboxing. Yeah. Um, we will do also probably a, a feeling challenge, uh, which we've done before, where we go head to head and see who can feel them best. Yeah. And maybe a little guide as well as, as to yeah. how to feel them. So, you know, yeah. if you're not in Sweden or anywhere near my shop where you can get assistance uh, finding all the characters, uh, maybe you've got to go to your local place and feeling the packets yourself, we'll give you a little guide on how to do that um, yeah. effectively. Um, yeah, so yeah. that's about that, I think. Uh, thank you very much for uh, watching. I hope you yeah. enjoyed it. Nice little chat, actually. Yeah. Nice and relaxing on a Sunday morning yeah. to start with the talk. Um, if you have any questions or queries, please feel free to comment in the uh, thingies below. Um, and we will answer as much as we can. Other yeah. than that, we will see you next week. Thank you. Yeah. Not next week. I'm not here next oh, week. Yeah. Yeah, I'm in Copenhagen. Uh, we'll see you the week after. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> cheers. Thanks a lot. Bye. See ya.